So, Young Philly, guys. I'm sure you guys have heard what happened to Young Philly. If you don't know who Young Philly is, a very popular YouTuber. He shows with Shunts. He's Shunts' man. Uh, he also uh, collaborated probably with Sidemen. I'm not sure if he's actually a member of Sidemen or not, or not. But he's a very popular YouTuber, all right? And he does music. And he was on this global tour. Uh, and he was performing in Australia, where he's currently there now on bail because he's facing some serious allegations, rape allegations, right? And he can't leave Australia until his trial. And I want to talk about it. Uh, right away, let me just make it clear. I'm very much in the side of, of young Philly. And I'm going to give you my reasons why I'm siding with young Philly. And I think this entire thing is ridiculous and should be immediately dismissed. I'm going to give my reasons. Cheyenne, take your time. You, She wanted to go back to yours to get ready for a night with philly right mm -hmm. yeah cool go yeah. so the club so the club was literally in town i lived in town so me and this other girl we were in the club where philly was and as soon as she left my friend that was gonna get ready to go see him as soon yeah. as she left philly started like whining on some other girl even though all that night like she he was like you know telling i don't know how to say name, telling that my friend like oh you know come back with me come back with me um, Wait, but were they together or not? They, no, they're not, no, they weren't together. Like, they just okay. used to see each other. So every time they go to a club together, yeah. uh, they see each other on the same night, they'd always leave together. Like, always. Okay. Always, yeah. Um, so anyways, so that happened. And as soon, so I, I messaged her, told her, like, look, he's literally whining some, on some other girl. She comes back within, like, five, ten minutes because I didn't live too far. And next minute, he's messaging her saying, oh, come to the car, come to the car, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. And he's literally messaging her like abuse, like saying like, I'm, I'm leaving you, I don't care, like, you know. And so I've got a video of this, by the way. So we go to the back of the club, uh, me and my friend, and then the girl that's going back with Philly, like she gets in his car and he's literally shouting at her saying like, no, get out, get out. I don't want you here anymore. Like you're taking your time, whatever, whatever. Um, so anyways, later that night, it was around like three in the morning, she goes to his hotel, she rings me, and she says, she's like whispering, she's saying like, oh, like, Cyan, can you, can you come like get an Uber from me? Like, whatever. And I was like, are you okay? And she said, no, like, you know, I need to go. And she's like, actually, no, wait, one minute, one minute. Anyways, so later that morning, she told me what actually happened. So she wanted to leave around three in the morning when she called me. But then he apparently, she said, oh, you're either staying and take, take your clothes off or you're leaving. So she stayed because they had history and she just felt like, you know, he had all this power. Like she just felt so gullible in the moment. Um, and when she, she told me that story, like eight in the morning, like she came literally from my, to my place, makeup on everything, like from the night before she. All right. So he's in Australia performing. He meets this young girl, consenting adult, whatever conversation they had, maybe she invited herself to go with him to his hotel room or he invited her, whatever it is, she willingly left with him. That's the fact. All right. So she lit willingly left with him. There's no charges of kidnapping. She left with him willingly with this very successful YouTuber and artist. And she goes with him to the hotel room. Did she expect they were going to play FIFA 2 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Did she expect that they're going to play uh, freaking Jumanji or Patty Cake or some shit? No. They're going to have sex. That's what's going to happen. Obviously, that's what he expected. And obviously, that's what she knew that what he expected. So we get to the hotel room. I'm not sure how long it took. Later on, she le she leaves or, c or calls the police or maybe goes to the police department. I'm not entirely sure about the details. And she accuses him of sexually assaulting her. And she has bruises on her neck. So he's basically being charged with sexual penetration four times. Four counts of sexual penetration. Sex. That's what happens. That's the whole thing about sex is penetration. Literally what that is. Sex is literally penetration. Anyway, also for bruising her neck and for cutting off, uh, cutting off her airway, which also happens and at rough sex, you know, consensually or non-consensually. It happens in sex sometimes. People sometimes like getting choked, okay? So that's, that's what they have. And really what it is is her word against his. Because here's the fact. Here's what we know. That she left with him willingly to his hotel room late at night 
The second she called the police and explained to them that she left with this stranger, basically, because she don't know him. You know, she knows he's popular YouTuber, probably, or an artist. My theory is she's exactly like these other gold diggers, like the girl that accused Kobe Bryant, for, for example. Nobody believes Kobe Bryant actually assaulted that woman. Mike Tyson went to prison for assaulting a woman. For the in, the in fact, what happened to Kobe Bryant and Mike Tyson is literally exactly the same thing that's happening to, to Philly. You know, he went to prison for sexual assault. Nobody believes Mike Tyson ever did it. Nobody believes that because it doesn't make sense. That's why nobody believes it. At least most people don't, right? Most people don't believe it. It doesn't make sense. These women willingly went with these celebrities to their hotel rooms. What they, what did they, 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 did they really think they're going to play hopscotch? What the hell did they, did they think they were going to sit down and talk about <laughs> stories from their past or some shit? I don't know. No, obviously they knew they were going there to get penetrated. Here's my thing. When are women going to be held accountable for their choices? It was her choice to leave with a stranger from a club or wherever he performed at to his hotel room. Case closed. Dismissed. Dismissed. It should have been it right there. But no, the legal system. We have to give her just what justice. It's a fact. They're going to take her side over his. They already did. And he can't come out and explain to the people what happened because the court, you know, the court ruled that he can't do it. He can't talk about the case. Anything can happen in that, in that court room. Like, they, like, it could be an open shot case. Oh, what happened? Take our side of the story. CCTV. Well, what's the CCTV going to show? Again, like I said, it was no video camera in the, in the room. What is it going to show? Is it going to only affirm that she was, in fact, in the, in the hotel with Philly? And I'm sure Philly would never deny that. I'm sure Philly would say something in the lines of, yeah, we met in the club after I performed. She, she invited herself to go with me, or I invited her and she agreed, and we had sex. That's probably what he would say, and that's probably what actually happened. But we would never know. We would never know. Um, it's her word against his. And usually in these cases, women always win. They always believe women, regardless of the, the other, uh, you know, certain amount of cases that actually exist. Where women very rarely admit to lying and falsely accusing someone of sexual assault. The, the, you know, there are cases out there where women would admit that they falsely ac uh, accused a, a, a man of sexual assault. And I can honestly say that's exactly what I think happened here. With this one, this woman is falsely accused in Philly. I think that's what happened. And, you know, again, an argument can be made for, for, the, for, the, for the marks on her neck to be self-inflicted or just a part of the sexual, you know, uh, environment that they had. That, you know, it was rough. It was rough sex, but it was consensual. You know, she was penetrated. Yeah, because they had sex. You know, like, what else is, is there? She should be held accountable for our choices, which is that she left with this man stranger, regardless of popularity and, and influence or YouTube or whatever, fame, to a hotel room at late at night. Okay? Now, if she was in fact sexually assaulted, which, again, I, I don't, saying it, I'm like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. It doesn't. But if she was, well, now she should learn not to go with a stranger to a <laughs> hotel room. She didn't. She never agreed to have sex in the first place. Why would you go with a stranger to a hotel room? It doesn't make no fucking sense. Late at night, you know. Yeah, we were gonna. We thought. I thought that we were gonna go play marbles. No. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think? I honestly, think Philly is innocent. I think this whole thing is just a a way to distract people. You know, a story because it is all over TikTok and the internet. It's all over the place. Why is this? Why is is it such? A, I know it's. Listen, Philly is not that famous, bro. Diddy, Diddy, kind of like it, kind of way down with with Diddy case, right? And he's way more famous than than Philly. But the case with Diddy kind of like slowed down. And in fact, I I got a theory now, and it just popped up in my head. 
because I think Philly, I mean, Diddy would definitely get away with it because it seems that way now. So they had to create another case to make it seem, you know, just blow it out of proportion. And clearly it's, a, it's an open shot case. She went with him willingly to his, to his hotel room. Well, what is there to talk about? Like, uh, they should have dismissed it. It's bullshit. It's, a, it's such a bullshit, bullshit case. There is no case. But people are not going to look at it that way. People obviously are siding with, these, with this possibly gold-digging bitch, whore. Same type of whore that claimed that, you know, uh, Kobe Bryant uh, assaulted her or Mike Tyson. Same type of <laughs> holes that exist in this world. Grimy, gold digging holes. Um, anyway, yeah, like I said, th that's my theory. I think they're doing this and blowing out of proportion to kind of smokescreen the, the how, how Diddy's case is being d diminished. You know, uh, maybe, I don't know, whatever. We guys think, leave a comment down below. Way, just want to uh, give my take on Aiden Ross promised a man by the name of Lieutenant Dan uh, $150,000, I think it was, and a kick deal. Give me the kick deal. No, no, give matter of fact, I don't even want the kick deal because I'm pretty sure I'm, I won't be consistent with streaming. But give me at least $100,000. I want it. I don't want that. Okay, if I knew that I had to put myself in danger. And go on a boat in the middle of the ah. in Florida and be considered a hero? What the ah. f***? He didn't save nobody. This man did not save nobody. What drives me crazy is the fact that this man has a very extensive criminal record, which Aiden knew or found out about later after he made a promise. And now people are pressuring him because it looks like he's going to back out. Even if he did back out of his promise, which my, a quick note, he just made a live stream with the guy saying that he just, he's never backing out from that promise, that he's going to give him the kid deal, that he's going to give him $150,000. Why would, why would you do that, Aiden? Anyway, he was being pressured by a group of <laughs> retards, telling him, oh, are you really going to back out from your promise? Why would he give him this f***ing idiot who put himself in danger for doing something idiotic? Why would he... That's literally... That... that I don't know. I don't, I know what you're saying. Oh, you're hating on the guy. He's a fucking criminal that tried to burn a woman alive. Apparently sunk somebody's boat. He committed multiple robberies and burglaries. I mean, this guy's a criminal. And all he did is put himself in danger by refusing to evacuate <laughs> and, and staying on his boat in the middle of a, one of the biggest storms that Florida have ever experienced. Unfortunate. So many homes that are destroyed. In fact, give the money to these people. Who cares about it, Lieutenant Dan, bro? That doesn't make sense, Aiden. You really, I mean, here's my theory about this. Aiden is actually scared of Lieutenant Dan because Lieutenant Dan is definitely an established criminal. He's an established criminal with an extensive criminal background. So it makes sense that Aiden will be scared to back off or back out uh, from his promise, basically enabling him. Why use what that is? Um, but that's what America is. You know, we have rappers that are drug addicts and drug dealers and killers, and we make them popular and famous and rich. You know, it's 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 the norm. It's the norm over here in our society in America. Uh, it's to make dumb people rich. It's crazy. It's crazy. Anyway, that's all I gotta say about that. I really didn't want to make this video this long, but I did want to share my opinion on that. Um, so uh, leave a comment down below. What do you guys think? Should Aiden give Lieutenant Dan the money and a kick deal? What's he going to do with a kick deal? Uh, doesn't make sense! Does it? Anyway, I got to go. <laughs>